What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This video is my first two online fights in UFC 3. This was actually gameplay from before the game actually came out. There was a few people, I got the game a little bit early, so there was a few people who were online playing some quick matches, so I got matched up, and right here in this fight, I am using Thomas Almeida. My opponent is using Algermain Sterling with the new haircut. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, but in this video, I was just trying to find my groove. I couldn't believe I got matched up with someone online. There was not very many people online. I didn't even know if the uh, matchmaking would work before the game came out. So this was a really intense fight. My first fight ever in UFC 3 online. Al Jermaine Sterling. But you can tell that he's throwing a lot. If you notice, his stamina is getting low. And if you guys have not checked out the new updates that they released from the beta, what they've done, I will leave a link to those updates in the description they updated a whole bunch of stuff and if you're into all the want to know all the details check out the link for those updates in the description of the video but guys check it out i am using almeida with the muay thai stance i i really like the way almeida looks his chin i think is a little a little questionable but all in all, I think he's a really good striker in the game from what I've used him. Now, I haven't used him too much. I'm, I'm messing with that double jab right there. It's a nice little combo that you guys want to try messing with is a uh, double jab head kick. You got even, I believe, the double jab leg kick, which is deadly as well. But look at that. I rock him, and now he is get, he is just he's out of it. There's, there's clearly a skill advantage for sure. It wasn't like this was a crazy tough fight, but... I was being very cautious, picking my shot. Look at that, trying to get that jab leg kick combo. But he gets, you know, he's very aggressive, but he's just throwing shots with low stamina is not going to help him out too much. Goes for the big head kick, I block it. Now I find out that I got the knee, and I figure out how to do it. I believe the knee is, it's either uh, L1 and right trigger with a kick button. Or it's, it's uh, like the other way around. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is to do the flying knee. You can do it with uh, either side knees though. And they have different types of jumping knees. So check practice mode for sure to figure out what kind of uh, flying knee you have and how to use it. Because flying knees, you can actually throw them out of nowhere. You can kind of just, uh, you can hit them off counters. Like, like right there, I hit him. Like I was just swaying and I just go for the flying knee. He just jumps up, bink, and binks him right there at the flying knee. I've been... Uh, you know experimenting with using the flying knee in that type of way and I actually was able to get it off there in a fight against a real-life player so that was pretty cool to see uh, the different types of options you're gonna have in the stand-up because it's gonna be very dynamic it's a whole new dynamic with the stand-up it's totally different it's a whole different pace so we're just gonna see how it is I really have a lot of fun every time I've had uh, player versus player fights I've had a lot of fun, and it's a lot more, it just feels like it takes a lot more skill in this game. I mean, let me know in the comments if you agree with that or not. I, I just feel, it just really does feel like the uh, the stand-up requires a lot more skill to me. But anyway, I, I do go for the takedown right there. Gotta mix it up. Flow, and uh, we get the takedown, but I really don't think I stay in the ground uh, game that much, because I, I really just like to practice the uh, stand-up, but I get some brutal elbows. Those are done by holding L1 and R1 and throwing punch. You could do those elbows. A little bit different controls from the last game, but uh, they're still good. You can still throw them. So you might, you know, when you first get the ground game, you might think you, you can't throw elbows or, you know, but it's just actually a little bit different. It's just L1 and R1 with the punch buttons and should throw the elbows on the ground uh, for the most part. In most of the positions, I believe that's how it is. Uh, but right here is actually stack guard, and there's some new transitions in stack guard as well. But look at that, I actually deny one of his, uh, I think I denied one of his transitions and it put me into, I stepped over, I think that was a new animation to UFC 3 as well. So uh, that was pretty cool, I think I reversed his, uh, his 
position when he was on sprawl bottom but we're getting a lot of positions here on the ground we're transitioning a lot the ground just seems a little bit more fluid uh it seems like it's not as uh stale there's you have more options to different uh transitions so it's harder to kind of pin people down it seems like and i actually i i find that to be good uh, as opposed to you know being able to hold someone down but right there it's all over i rocked him and uh it's completely done with that flying he pretty much gave up at the end of that fight and we get the amazing flying knee finish the first fight ever boom welcoming him to the ufc3 online community right there with that flying knee shout out to uh, my opponent this is actually the same guy we got matched up twice so shout out to uh you you know who you are but yeah here we go next fight he is mighty mouse so he's got some good stats and i am marlon Maro morales the uh this guy is a new fighter well kind of not really new but he's new to the ufc and I actually am a fan of his, but check out that combo. I rip him with at the beginning. Back him up into the fence. See, we're totally different style this fight. We have a different type of fighter. So we're, we're more just boxing and staying, swaying around. Boom. Looking for sway counters, ripping the body. Um, messing with the body shots. Uh, different sways into body shots are just brutal, guys. You can, you can do forward sways, side sways into body shots, and then mix that into combos to the head. So... The level of depth in the stand-up is just insane um, compared to UFC 2. So it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole new game. You're going to have to learn a whole new stand-up game, guys. That's just the way it is what it is. It's for the best, you know. Uh, just, I mean, the whole pace of it, the range, the ability to cut people off, the pressure. It's just a whole, uh, I, I like it a lot. I'm, a, I'm really liking the er, my early thoughts on the game are I really you know think it's a huge improvement from UFC 2 uh, ju just from the stand up alone and then what they've done with the clinch in the ground game I think with adding the transitions making it more balanced we're gonna have to wait and see um, you know they, they're obviously probably gonna be doing patches I don't know if that's been uh, I don't know if that's for sure or not but I would imagine that they will be having patches coming out so um, I'm gonna try to think of all the things that I think are I need to be patched as fast as I can. So if you guys have anything that you want to see fixed, let me know that in the comments. If anything that you find that is a little bit OP, you think, uh, let me know that as well. So uh, they have that information, and uh, we can try to get everything worked out as early as possible in this game to have it uh, the most balanced and the most fun and everything makes sense but that is the fight check it out guys jab overhand knockout i knocked him out with the jab and then finished it with an overhand right that was completely deadly look banged him right there with the jab overhand right to the back of the head that's illegal morales you're gonna be fine but guys that's the video hope you enjoyed if you did again make sure to head kick that bell button to be notified when new videos go up on the channel also hit that like button with your strike of choice guys we will be streaming we will be uploading more videos so make sure to hit that subscribe button follow me on twitch tv and twitter till next time this has been an mma game peace